540 on your Friday morning. It's estimated that one in five kids will be sexually abused before they turn 18. In 80% of those cases, the child knows their perpetrator. The statistics are terrifying, but there are things parents can do to reduce the, reduce the risk of their child becoming the next victim. RJ Marcus has the details. The sexual abuse started when I was five. Kim Stewart's dad went on to molest her every day for the next 11 years. Unfortunately, Kim's story is not unique. 20% of all child abuse victims are molested by family members. We're looking at people around you, um, and that's a hard thing for parents. DefendInnocence.org is dedicated to helping parents recognize the signs of sexual abuse in their children. Sexual predators often groom their victims, lavishing gifts and attention on them. Oh, Uncle Cody gave me a ride. Oh, he didn't let me know. He told me he's going to get me my own tablet. For parents, the first step is to set boundaries and have open and honest conversations with your child. They say parents need to embrace the awkward. You don't have to have a perfect conversation for it to be meaningful. I still have to have this conversation no matter how weird or uncomfortable it makes me feel. Just keeping communication open with your child is the first step. But if you're not asking those questions and you're not engaged in their life, they're not necessarily going to bring those things to your attention. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.